MATLAB is a very widely used model-based design tool. Microchip's MPLAB IDE has a plugin capable of importing source files generated by real-time workshop component of MATLAB. Users can configure the peripherals of DSPIC devices in MATLAB Simulink environment using Microchip Device Block Set, which can be located in Simulink Library Tree after installation. Application models can be created using Microchip Device Block Set and generic Simulink blocks. These models can be built either independently from MATLAB or using the MATLAB plugin. Hex COF files generated from MATLAB can be programmed using Microchip or third party programmers. When MATLAB plugin is used, code generated can be modified and debugged from the MPLAB environment. This session will last about 15 minutes. We will go through the steps to use Microchip Device Block Set and MATLAB plugin. This will also guide you through Simulink model creation, configuring RTW parameters, generate code, build and debug code generated from Simulink models. Let's look at some of the terms we will encounter in this session. MATLAB Simulink, a very popular tool for mathematical computation and model-based design. Simulink model. This is in general a pictorial representation of an application created using blocks provided by MATLAB as well as third parties. RTW, real-time workshop. This is an optional product of MATLAB which can generate ANSI C code from Simulink models. RTW embedded coder. This is an optional add-on to RTW. Code generated by RTW is generic in nature. Embedded Coder generates optimized code suitable for embedded targets. The Simulink microchip block sets run with real-time workshop and RTW Embedded Coder of MATLAB. These blocks enable you to do model-based design of your application and offload you from the hassle of going through data sheets and configuring peripherals. The auto code generation feature of RTW Embedded Coder, coupled with drivers behind the microchip block set, generate efficient C code for your models. These block sets appear under two main categories. DSPIC 33F Target. These blocks allow you to configure various peripherals for initialization purposes. You can configure by double clicking on these blocks. These configurations would reflect the initialization code that is generated from these models. For example, UART config. DSPIC 33F General. These blocks allow you to configure various peripherals for runtime purposes. You configure by double clicking on these blocks. These configurations would reflect in runtime code generated from these models. Example, UART transmit. The picture here shows DSPIC 30F target library. You can pull these blocks into your models and configure them per your requirements. Peripherals supported here include, but are not limited to, the ADC, UART, SPI, Output Compare, CAN, Timers, DMA, I2C, DCI, motor controlled PWM as well as others. This library also has a block C call to import user developed C routines into Simulink models. These routines would be compiled and built along with the files generated from the model. DSPIC 33F main block found here is an essential component for every application model that you create. This allows you to configure clocks, oscillators, etc. The picture here shows DSPIC 33F general library. You can pull these blocks into your model and configure them as per your requirements. Blocks found under this library generally have one or more input output ports, which have to be connected to the appropriate source sync blocks. For example, the UART transmit block has an input port which accepts a UINT16 or INT16 data type, transmits it on every timer expire event. 
This timer has to be configured in the DSPIC33F main block.